Hi, my name is Eric Schrader, and welcome to Central Dolphin High School. As the acting principal, I would like to welcome you to this presentation. This presentation will explain the expectations here at Central Dolphin High School and let you know all of the great things that are happening here. Our vision at Central Dolphin High School is to create an environment where all students, teachers, and staff are connected, valued, and supported so that they can reach their maximum potential in order to achieve the highest levels of academic and social emotional achievement. At Central Dolphin High School, we are made up of 1,875 students. 571 students are in the class of 2025. We believe in college and career net readiness instruction and making our students globally competitive. Central Dolphin High School is made up of two feeder schools, Lingostown Middle School and Central Dolphin Middle School. The average class size is 24. We operate on a nine period day with a six day cycle week. We have four marking periods and we also have semester courses as well. What does it mean when we hear Rams pride? At Central Dolphin High School, we have four core values, resiliency, acceptance, motivation, and strength. When every student graduates from Central Dolphin High School, it is our hope that every student is resilient, accepting, motivated, and most importantly, strong. At Central Dolphin High School, we are made up of several administrators and several school counselors. On this slide, you will see our acting principal, Mr. Eric Schrader, our grade level principals, Mr. Eric Schrader, and this year we will have a long-term sub in there, Dr. Karen Hertzler, who was previously in the role as a special education supervisor. The ninth grade school counselor is Ms. Angela Bell. The 10th grade principal is Ms. Kristen Herb, and the counselor that she works closely with is Ms. Jennifer Stowe. The 11th grade principal is Mr. Rob Bankovic, and his school counselor is Ms. Elizabeth Ludwig. When the students get to 12th grade, they will have Ms. Jennifer Crane. In addition, their school counselor will be Ms. Keisha Starling and Ms. Christy Kennedy. The Central Dolphin School District has their own police department. Officer Leinbach is our school resource officer. Additionally, our school district police department believes that our student safety and staff safety is a top priority. Therefore, they work closely with the Safe to Save program. The Safe to Save program is a youth violence prevention program run by the Pennsylvania Office of the Attorney General. The program it teaches youth and adults how to recognize warning signs and signals, especially within social media, from individuals who may be a threat to themselves or others, and to say something before it is too late. With Safe to Say, it is easy and confidential to report safety concerns to help prevent violence and tragedies. We encourage all of our students to put this number in their phone or visit the website at safe to say org to report any time that they are concerned about themselves or someone else. At Central Dolphin High School, we operated on a nine period scheduled day. As you can see in the left hand column, you will see that we have nine periods and four of those periods are lunch periods, period four, five, six, and seven. The school day starts at 7.40 and ends at 2.30. On Thursdays, we have Connections, so we operate on a different schedule. Connections is held between periods three and period four. We also have lunches as well, periods four, five, six, and seven. Our day on Connections begins at 7.40 and also ends at 2.30. Therefore, we shorten the class periods on Thursdays. As discussed previously in this presentation, it is important to Central Dolphin High School that we build 
positive connections with our students. So what is connections? Well, connections is a 37 minute period once a week where we provide our entire school with the much needed time and resources to build impactful relationships between our teaching staff and all of our students so that we can develop a school culture where everyone feels cared for and connected. In that 37 minute period, once a week, we may teach academic check-in, an emotional check-in. We might even have our Rams Day, where we do character building and college and career readiness. Or we might do something fun and engaging, where we provide the students either brain breaks or activities in community service. At Central Dolphin High School, we believe in academic achievement. We at Central Dolphin High School are known for our rigorous academic environment. We offer a wide variety of courses, honors level, college prep, college and high school courses, and advanced placement courses. Now, high school is a little bit different than middle school. At high school, to be promoted, you have to obtain credits to be promoted to the next grade. On the screen, you will see the credits necessary in order to be promoted and graduate. Additionally, you must meet graduation requirements on top of obtaining 23 and a half credits. So those requirements are as follows. You must obtain four credits in English, four credits in math, three credits in science, three credits in social studies, a half credit in health, two credits in physical education, one credit in arts and humanities, and six elective credits. Now, you will see a freshman schedule. On the right-hand side is our course selection process. Now, each of you with your schedule must have an English, a math, a social studies, a science, a physical education, and a fine practical arts course schedule. Additionally, you must have a connections period on your schedule. Now, special education and English developmental learners need the same requirements, but their learning is a little more individualized. As you look through your schedule, it's important to remember that only schedule changes will be accepted during the change period on September 8th and September 9th. If you are a student who wishes to make a change because of a misplacement or a missing graduation or admission requirement, or you are seeking a more rigorous schedule, it is important that you get a schedule change form and submit it to the office, the guidance office on September 8th and September 9th. Keystone exams. Freshmen in the following classes will be responsible to take the Keystone exam in the spring. Honors Biology and Algebra 1 are both trigger courses for the Keystone exam. Right now, at this time, passing the Algebra, Literature, and Biology Keystone exam is required for graduation.
This school year, the Central Dolphin School District is entering into a one-to-one -one technology initiative. That means that every high school student across the district will be given a Chromebook. It is important that every student at the high school level carry a Chromebook to school. These Chromebooks must be brought to school each day and be fully charged. Additionally, every student will receive a Chromebook case in which to carry their Chromebook. It is also important that you keep your password secret and that passwords should only be shared with parents or trusted school staff. If for some reason you are experiencing any trouble with Chromebooks or any other technology needs, please contact the technology self-help page. You can call the help desk at 717-346-9452 or you can email the service desk at cdschools.org. The Central Dolphin School District provides each of their students transportation. The transportation assignment cards have been mailed. Bus drop off in the front of the school occurs between 705 and 725. Parent pickup and drop off is in the back of the building by the cafeteria entrance. Freshmen are not permitted to drive. Please call the high school office if you have any questions or issues. Students may not ride another student's bus except for emergencies. So parents, if you have an emergency, please contact the main office and we will make sure to arrange the appropriate transportation. Lastly, during the global pandemic, masks must be worn on all forms of transportation. Attendance at Central Dolphin High School is mandatory. Notes must be submitted to the main office within three days of the absence. They must be signed by a parent or guardian. It may be faxed or emailed. And notes go to the attendance window in the main hallway the day you return from an absence. Early dismissal. Notes must be turned into the attendance window the morning of the day of the early dismissal. If a student returned from an early dismissal, they must have a note validating the purpose for the dismissal. Educational trip forms are in the office. They must be turned in seven days before the day of the trip. Lockers. Lockers will be available by request during all lunches in the first week. After week one, they will be available in the main office. Lockers are property of the Central Dolphin School District. Therefore, district personnel has the right to search lockers, cars, and persons with reasonable suspicion. Do not share a locker. Once again, do not share a locker. You are responsible for the contents in that locker. Food, lunch is free. Lines of credit will not be extended and you can go onto Lunchbox online to upload an account. Physical Education and Dress Code. This year, the Central Dolphin School District has issued a uniform procedure for phys ed and a jewelry procedure for phys ed. I encourage you to read over the uniform procedure and the jewelry policy as it has changed from previous years. When we begin to talk about school discipline, it's important to understand what our school-wide behavioral expectations are in every classroom and every environment within the school building. We have said every student be respectful, be accountable, be mindful, and be safe. Any student who does not abide by one of those expectations will be issued school discipline. The school discipline consequences will be issued based upon the student code of conduct, which is available on our school district website. Dress code, shorts, skirts, and dresses may not be excessively short. Undergarments may not be exposed in any way. Underarms, back of torso, and front of torso cannot be exposed. Clothing that promotes drugs, alcohol, tobacco products, 
sexual innuendos or violence is not appropriate. Additionally, there will be no hats, hoods, sunglasses, gloves, or visors permitted to be worn in the school building. Clothing with holes or rips cannot reveal undergarments or private areas. Additionally, no pajama pants or slippers are permitted to be worn. If a student violates the dress code, they will be asked to fix the dress code violation. If they refuse not to, a parent contact will be made and the student will be issued the appropriate consequence. Cell phones. You may use cell phones in the halls, lunch, and study hall, only if it does not distract others. You may only use it in class if the teacher permits it. No phone calls are permitted. If you need to make a phone call or a FaceTime call, please come to the main office. No volume for games or music should be heard. It's important that they use headphones. Lastly, it's very important to lock up your phone for physical education. Cell phones are the number one stolen item. At Central Dolphin High School, we encourage all of our students to become actively engaged in clubs and extracurricular activities. For the music and performing arts student, we have a list of all of our music programs on our website. Additionally, we have a fall play and a spring musical, and we even have drama fest. As you can see here, here are just some of our clubs and activities that we offer at Central Dolphin High School. Remember, be a leader, start your own club. All you need is a teacher to support you in that cause. Additionally, our athletic director, Mr. Hunter, oversees our athletics program. As you can see here, here's a list of our fall, winter, and spring sports. Now, in closing, it's important to remember five keys to success given by my good friend, Mr. Porter at Linguistown Middle School. Number one, he will always say, have a positive attitude in everything you do. Two, do the right thing all the time. Three, do more than you are willing to do. Four, respect yourself and others. And five, prepare and plan before doing anything. If you take these five keys, and institute them in any aspect of life, you will be successful. Now, on the site in front of you is our CDHS communication. You can visit us at cdschools.org or contact our main office. Also, you will find the extensions to our attendance office, our guidance office, our nurse's office, our cafeteria, and our athletic director. You can also follow us on Twitter at CDHS Rams. I hope you enjoyed the wonderful presentation and thank you for joining us. The Ram and I are happy to see you.